Today on Everything Star Wars, we're going to check out a clip called Shattered. It's for the cl upcoming Clone Wars Season 7, Episode 11. There's only two left, so let's check this one out. Something on your mind? As a Jedi, we were trained to be keepers of the peace, not soldiers. But all I've been since I was a Padawan is a soldier. Well, I've known no other way. It gives us clones all a mixed feeling about the war. Many people wish it never happened, but without it, Clones wouldn't exist. Well, then perhaps some good has come from all of it. Oh. The Republic couldn't have asked for better soldiers, nor I a better friend. Oh. That's nice. That's it. Uh, it's pretty powerful. And I think what most fans don't get, they all see the Jedi as heroes and that's the end of it. And the Martina sisters, an episode a lot of people found boring and understand that. To me, it was about what Ahsoka was doing during that time. And I know people are like, oh, we didn't have to waste four episodes on it. But here's the point of it that you missed. They said... Not all the people see the Jedi as heroes. And Ahsoka makes another fantastic point saying, we were supposed to be peacekeepers and all I ever done has been a soldier. So she's disappointed because that's what happened to the Jedi. They lost their way. They weren't supposed to be in a war. They were supposed to be keeping the peace. Trying to say, look, you know, this is not how we go about doing things. But Palpatine made it so that he got them involved in the war without them realizing it. And then it was a power struggle. Well, if he's, you know, he's not going to let go of the reins, we're going to take over. And I'm like, why are the Jedi doing that? You know, why is the Jedi Council going after Palpatine? What happens? Palpatine wasn't a Sith Lord. He was just a politician who didn't want to let go. Saying, listen, the, the war's not over yet. I need to finish here. And who are you to come barging in and tell me that I have to let go of the reins? Why, so you can take over? Think about it. Shouldn't another politician step up? No one's ever discussed that in Star Wars. No one I've known has discussed that in Star Wars. That shouldn't be how it works. It should be that once the war is completely over and he wraps it up, they should have another vote of who's going to be next in charge. Did he really do a crime by sitting in the chair when the war wasn't officially over? Just because they killed Grievous didn't mean, okay, it's all over. It's not how it works. And it was never questioned. And that's when I found something wrong to be with the Jedi myself. I said, that's not what they should be doing. They shouldn't be fighting this war. They shouldn't be trying to take over. They shouldn't be saying, well, if you're not going to get our power, we're going to force you out of power. We're taking you in and that's it. That's not your job. You're a peacekeeper. But they became like soldiers and enforcers. And, and they kind of were using their power the way they shouldn't be. And that's what Dooku was saying. That's why I loved Count Dooku. I know I'm the oddball out. I know that I saw these things that other Star Wars fans and other people don't see, and it's not the popular vote. But Dooku tried to tell Obi-Wan, don't you see what's going on here? It's all being run by a Sith Lord. He told him. Now, Maul told Ahsoka. And again, it's another Jedi that didn't believe. My thoughts are, how does 
Obi-Wan and Ahsoka feel about all this. Can't be too good. It can't be too good that after, when this all happens, when this is all done with, that they both knew, they both were told, they both were warned, and neither of them believed it. Had they believed it, this could have totally turned out an entirely different way. It could have been Dooku teaming up with Obi-Wan and Anakin to take on Sidious. It could have been Maul and Ahsoka to take on Sidious. So when she's sitting there, first of all, I thought it was sweet that she told Rex how she feels. And she values his friendship. And she values him and she values the clones. That was, that was terrific. That was very, very touching, I would say. Very nice. I thought, you know, and I could see Rex feeling very happy to hear that from her. And this is why they respect their generals. This is why they respect Ahsoka Tano. I thought it was a really awesome scene. It shows how she's bothered. This is why she walked away from the Order in the first place. She saw that the Order was, was being soldiers and not being peacekeepers. She knew the difference. And I think Anakin deep down inside, he did too. He felt that. He felt that something was wrong. Dooku did. Qui-Gon Jinn did. And maybe even Sifo Dyas did. Even though we don't know too much about Jedi Master Sifo Dyas. But you let me know in the comment section below what you think. I'm looking forward to these last two episodes. I think the, the other two were fantastic. What I'm wondering here is what happens. You know, is Maul, does he stay captured? Does he escape? The, what happens here? I'm, I'm, I'm really curious to know because we all know how Revenge of the Sith is. I'm really curious at this point. How they're tying this all in is really blowing my mind away. Um, so you let me know your thoughts, how you feel about it, are you excited, do you think this is the best arc of the season 7? Some people have said this is the best episodes they've ever seen. It's pretty powerful. You let me know, we can discuss it, we'll talk about it, and I'll see you next time on Everything Star Wars. Take care, hasta la vista, baby. I'm here, thank you for being there.